Westbound lanes on the Ohio Turnpike were closed for over six hours after an accident that took the life of one man and seriously injured three others. Good evening, I'm Sean Hagerty. Fox Toledo Jennifer Stack joins us live with where the Highway Patrol sits in its investigation. Well, still a lot of unanswered questions as to what caused the deadly accident on the Turnpike this morning, but a Highway Patrol reconstruction crew is working to find answers. Unfortunately, this is one of these things that occasionally happens, and when they do, they are usually severe. 55-year-old turnpike maintenance worker Forrest John Fletcher of Perrysburg was killed when a semi-truck driven by Edward Mills drifted from the left driving lane into the right two construction lanes, colliding with two maintenance vehicles and three turnpike workers, mile marker 91.8 near Fremont. Anytime that you have vehicles that are traveling at least at a posted speed at 50 miles an hour hitting stationary objects, it's a severe crash. In this particular case, this is a severe crash in a construction zone. Obviously, we have a death as a result of it and serious injuries. Two maintenance workers, 55-year-old James Radebush and 24-year-old Anthony Stout, suffered severe injuries, as well as semi-driver Edward Mills. Another maintenance worker, Nate Overmeyer, was able to avoid injury once he heard an alert horn warning of the impending crash. Highway Patrol at this point doesn't believe speed was a factor, but investigators are not ruling anything out. Trying to piece together the information, the roadway evidence, as well as bringing the statements together of the witnesses that we do have, and eventually to be able to talk to the turnpike maintenance workers and the truck driver to find out the events that happened prior to the impact. Now the conditions of the three injured men are not known tonight after they were life flighted from the scene to two Toledo area hospitals. Reporting tonight, Jennifer Steck, Fox Toledo News.